It is York unit. It's a 15 ton rooftop unit. It has the York Simplicity control board. It's got two cooling circuits in it. And the problem I'm experiencing is I'm calling for both circuits to be on and only compressor number two is running. I have a signal for compressor one to run and even compressor two drops out when it when the thermostat starts getting closer to the set point and just wants compressor one to run. It's uh, dropping compressor two out thinking compressor one's running and um, space temperature's never coming down to a set point. So the, this control board is bad. I just wanna show you how I determined that. So like I said, uh, so this board has this uh, expansion board, this thermostat connection. Sometimes that's the thermostat connection will just go right there. Um, this particular board has uh, the connections here. Let's see, I got 24 volts on Y1. If you come over here and check it, I got 24 volts again. So we know that this board is giving this board a signal for Y1 to be on. And right here, these blue wires are my low pressure switch wiring, and these orange wires are the high pressure switch wiring. You know, you can check out the control board, it's it's all labeled on there, but I have 24 volts going out and coming back from the pressure switch on each the low pressure and high pressure switch. They're, they're wired separately. Uh, the only other thing that could be holding this off, which obviously with the compressor twos running, then we know that's not gonna be a situation, is the low ambient switch. If the low ambient switch is open, thinking that it's cold out, it will keep the compressors running. That is a possibility that they fail in the summertime, but um, I, that's not the case here. So down here, you can see, I see one C2 and fan. So that's basically the output that the board is sending to the contactor. And I was able to check it. You need a long, thin, meter lead to get in there or a piece of thermostat wire but you can see i got nothing on compressor one but i have it on compressor two so that tells me that the relay that that the board closes to send power to the to the contactor coil is shot because i the board has everything it needs to know okay i can run compressor one but it's not doing it so it's got to be the relay and in this case we're just going to change the whole board I did locate the correct replacement part already and I picked it up, so we're gonna put that in now. First step, you gotta shut down the power. It's always a good idea to take some pictures of the way it's wired, this way you have a good reference point to go back to. You could write it all down, but that probably takes even more time. This is pretty simple because there's mostly these plugs on there that are only gonna fit uh, one spot for the most part and usually the wires long you know the, the length of the wire can kind of tell you what went where so let's see so. kind of just leave them when you pull them off the wires will actually kind of stay in the order that you pull them off and so it's easy enough to just reference where you need to go with it and then these i always like to use a needle nose looks like these are pretty simple just on that one side let's get that you could even squeeze it just like that Sometimes if you look on the back, you'll see some burn marks, but I don't see nothing indicating uh, like a, a circuitry failure. It's most likely just a relay. It just wasn't uh, the contacts. Right. Got the new one right here. And we'll just get this mounted right up. Keep, you never want to force these because these are kind of delicate. You just want to give just enough pressure. This way you don't break anything. All right. Then I'm basically just going to start in reverse. Like I said, if something doesn't feel like it's going, pull it back off. Make sure you're lined up on these pins. If you break one of these pins, and you're going to have to get another board. 
So make sure you got all your wires that you took off back on. You can reference the pictures you took or your diagram you wrote down just to make sure you got everything right. But you know, I'm pretty confident with my experience that I'm not even gonna go too crazy on it. All right, time to power it up. Some literature that came with it. I always like to leave this with the, the machine in case for some reason this ever needs to be referenced. Compressor number one just came on. Oh, two compressors. That's compressor one, contactor, it's compressor two. So before basically just this one was pulling in, that one wasn't. So that's just some tips I wanted to share with you guys on how to quickly diagnose a problem with this control board. Um, it give you some things to look for if you're experiencing the same problem with uh, something similar. Even, uh, even other control boards, the principles are pretty much the same. The inputs, if you have all your inputs there and you don't have an output, then probably something going on internally on the board with one of these relay packs or some type of uh, you know circuitry connection or something. So that's all I got for you on this one today. I got the new control boards in, system's working properly, both compressors came on. Uh, it's staged down to just compressor one, but hey, it's working right now. Um, hope that video was helpful and anybody out there having a problem with the control board, maybe you can maybe you can use some of the tips and uh, pointers that I uh, demonstrated in the video. If you're not currently a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of new content coming. If you like the videos, give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. You can follow me on Twitter at underscore Travis Michael. I'm going to be posting content at least twice a week. Um, depending on what I find in the field, I might get some good stuff and I'm hopefully be posting even more than that. But I'm going to do a minimum of twice a week. So I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate you liking them and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.